Bear Spikes videos. Uh, just wanted to make a quick little video that God has laid a little something on my heart. It's been about a couple of weeks now, and then I've been like meditating on it, praying on it. And uh, the Lord showed me something that might be just simple for everybody else, but and it was through the the women with the issue of blood uh, that came to Jesus when there was a multitude of people there and she had to I could just see her having to fight her way through that crowd to get to Jesus that story is right here I got written uh, lay, laid out right here so if you want to read all about it it's right there where she touched the hem of his garment and she was made whole because she just had to touch Jesus but uh, can you imagine, she was trying to fight her way through the crowd because uh, Jesus said, who touched me? And Peter's like, there's all kinds of people around you pressing against you. And so it make me think about the, uh, our church. And uh, of course, tomorrow is Mother's Day. And I thought, well, the church is the mother and, and Jesus is our father. The church has to be a healthy mother to have children or bring back the the what do you call the prodigal the prodigal is the ones that was going to the going to church serving God and then um uh, cares this world or hurts or something drive them out and it makes me think about that how they could try to get back but the uh, the crowd was too the crowd of uh, uh, judgment from other saints would be t so tough for them to get through. and it, they, they just can't get through to them to get to Jesus. And the saints have an attitude sometimes. Like, like the prodigal son's brother, he was not happy because the Lord was... Uh, the father there was so happy that he that his son came home and come to his senses, but but the, the the brother was out on the back porch. He's like, man, this is craziness, you know, having a judgment towards them. Uh, it's like, uh, I mean, I I had uh, like my sisters tried to come back before, and they were judge for certain things you gotta have wisdom the scripture says to have wisdom i'll show you here let's go to proverbs he that winneth souls is wise in proverbs proverbs 30 and 11 so yeah, there is. Oh, maybe that's not it. I forgot where it's at. Huh. He that went of souls is wise. Let's see if we... Let's see if it pulls it up. No, I didn't. It didn't do it, man. Well, let's see if I can back out. Oh, I got this. But it's in, I just read it in Proverbs. Maybe it's 3311. No, it can't be 3311. But the scripture says, He that one of souls is wise, and, and, and if you don't have wisdom, uh, and you, you, you know, sometimes when you don't have the wisdom, you, you are all about self. That's why it's so important every day to, uh, take out, take up thy cross and deny yourself daily and follow the Lord. And it says, any man lack wisdom, let him ask of God. If you would give it to all men liberally and umbrella not and it shall be given him the uh the sometimes uh when we got our self agenda 
when you go judge another person, sometimes you, you're not uh, having the the holiness stand uh, of separating from the world in your heart because you love God and you got it because you've been told to. Now, if you if you get it, if you have the holiness of God inside your soul, which uh, drinking from the living well every day that springing up from everlasting to everlasting in your soul will keep that when you uh, die your die out to self that's why paul said i die daily this is so important when when, when somebody says i'm gonna make my way back to church don't have an attitude where oh, i see i believe that when i see it how about having some faith in god and a, and, a, and a hunger for them to come back. And treat them as they never left. Just give them the straight love. And, and believe that God can bring them back. What kind of faith is that? To do that. This has been on my heart. That's what the stuff they press against. See, when you come into the church. And maybe some of them has been out. And have a tattoo on themselves. Or something like that. Or, or uh, not dressing the way you think they should be dressing. And the reason why you're judging them like that is because maybe you don't have it in your heart right. And uh, you can't do that. That's not wisdom. That's just that's a, that's uh, people coming back to God and running into judgment all the time. And, and that's from stagnant living in the Lord when you live worldly. And you indulge in worldly stuff all week and you come to church. And bless God, I'm this and I'm that. But uh, you still got the worldliness, watching movies and TV and uh, getting indulged in different things of the world that you should not be indulged in. That will cause uh, the lack of love of God in your heart. The world has no love for God. That's why you got to separate yourself from the world. And separate yourself from the world and have a, a genuine love and the Every day, like your your prayer, when you self-denial yourself, the prayer pattern that Jesus laid out in Matthew chapter 6, uh, starting at verse 9. Now, the scripture, one of the things things in it is, uh, Lord, forgive my debts, my sins, as I forgive my debtors. So, if, if, uh, uh, if, a, if a person is trying to come back to God, and if you got it in your heart that I got to forgive my brother and a sister 70 times 7 daily. So unlimited forgiveness and love towards them brother and a sister. It's got to be it. You can't judge them. You can't say stuff off your own thinking, your own flesh. And then... uh, Because uh, in, when, you, when you're in the world... And going to church at the same time, you're going to be stagnant. You have that stagnant water. You don't have a prayer life. And you're not in the word of God. In the name of Jesus. Ladies and gentlemen. Brothers and sisters in Christ. Let's get in love for souls. Ah, I'm starving for family members to come in and get baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins and receive the Holy Ghost speaking in tongues. That's the only uh, cure or like a prescription for the sadness of the soul. Right now, you got family members that will use uh, smoke and dope drinking and all kinds of different things in the world to try to numb that depression and that emptiness and that the, the soul is empty has a hole in it and the only thing that can fill that hole is Jesus. Jesus is the only way to, to bring the happiness back. There's no other way to get it. It's through the, the name of Jesus. We got to be a stronger uh, mother of God the church is the mother to raise up children healthy babies or how or, or nurse the ones that needs to be 
healthy. I mean, man, you, you, you know, growing up, we used to have a chicken coop. Man, if a chicken got a sore or, 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 or on them or somehow, uh, them other chickens, man, we don't want to be like chickens. They'll see that sore and peck it to death and kill it. We don't want to peck our ones that's wanting to come back to death with our judgmental attitudes, especially when we're watching movies and going to theaters and, and not living holy and separated from the world. And we got to be living holy for the Lord. There's nothing greater than serving Jesus Christ. There's nothing greater than being filled with the Holy Ghost, the Spirit of Jesus Christ. There's nothing greater than having the name of Jesus stamped to your soul. Galatians 3.27, baptized in the name of Jesus Christ for the remission of sins. You can... Uh, Say, I've been baptized, Father, Son, and Holy Ghost, all you want. All you're doing is getting baptized with titles. That scripture says, baptized in the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost. What is the name of the Father, Son, Holy Ghost? It's the Lord Jesus Christ. I now baptize you in the name of the Father, Lord, in the name of the Son, Jesus, in the name of the Holy Ghost, Christ. It's all in Jesus. The fullness of the Godhead is in the body of Jesus Christ. It's just that simple. Oh, it's 11.36. So I just had to tell it. I have a strong love for to see some of the ones that we grow up when we worship God with to come back. But I want others, new ones to come in. I want my nephews and nieces and my sisters and brothers and everybody to be saved. Not according to religion, but because, according to the scriptures. In the name of Jesus Christ. That's the only way to be it. Jesus says, I am the way, the truth, and the life. No man comes about the Father but by me. He is the way. He died on the cross. He is the truth. He is buried in the grave. And he is the life. He rose again the third day. No man cometh to the Father but by that new birth experience. Uh, he died. We, are, we repent. He was buried we are baptized, buried with him in baptism in the name of Jesus Christ, Romans 6. And he rose again, Romans 8. We are risen with him, with, we're filled with the Spirit, the Holy Ghost. Without the Spirit of Christ, which is the Holy Ghost, you are none of his. So that's the, that's the easy plan of salvation. And the ones that's been in it, knows. Come back. <laughs> we are living in the end times. So we are not facing the rapture. We are facing a war that's going to kill one third of the population of the earth. The rapture happens after the tribulations. Anybody that teaches that like, before the tribulation, uh, drawn straws out of the scripture that's not there. After the tribulation, Jesus said, we got to get hungry for souls. Oh, I love each and every one of you. Oh, Terry, I love you all. Oh, oh they don't, they, 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 we, are, we are living in the end times. And man, as soon as that peace treaty is signed, and they're trying to force Israel to sign that. If they do, and they give up land, that's going to start the last seven years of the battle of Armageddon. And the first three and a half years is peace. Then the last three and a half years is tribulation. Then after the tribulation is the rapture. Right at the battle of Armageddon. It's not, there's not uh, the rapture and then the second coming of Jesus Christ. It's all simultaneously the same. It's the same. I'm at the 1421. And uh, I love my leaders, but some, some of their uh, prophecy teaching is off. Uh, but I still love you to death. I know you're a great man of God. You've got way more wisdom than I do. I just take scripture as it's written. I can't just pull something out of some scripture and say, this is it. I just take it for what Jesus says. All right. Peace out. I'm out of time. I love you, each and every one of you. If you love this, subscribe. I love you. God bless you, everybody. And have a great Mother's Day.